My name is Dr. Paul Siffrey with the Stebbin Hawkins Clinic of the Carolinas. A total knee replacement is the removal of damaged or arthritic cartilage and resurfacing it with a knee prosthesis. The primary reason to undergo a total knee replacement is for pain relief that has no longer responded to more conservative measures such as anti-inflammatories, activity modification, or knee injections. This is what you can expect to happen prior to, during, and after your surgery. Prior to your surgery, you may need to obtain medical clearance from your primary care physician to assure us that your heart and lungs can undergo this procedure. Lab work and other studies will be obtained to check your blood count, your heart rhythm, and make sure you do not have a urinary tract infection. If any of these are abnormal, they will have to be addressed prior to your surgery. You will also meet with the anesthesiology team, and he or she will discuss with you the plan for anesthesia. Most orthopedic surgeons prefer that you have a spinal anesthetic that will numb you from the waist down, along with a femoral nerve block, which will give you added pain control after surgery. Your anesthesiologist will discuss this with you in detail. You will attend a total joint class, if possible, and here you will meet the people that will be taking care of you during your hospital stay. This includes nurses who will be providing medical care throughout the day, physical therapists who will be directing your post-operative rehabilitation, and discharge planning coordinators who will aid in making the appropriate arrangements for you after your discharge from the hospital. The surgical procedure itself entails using instruments to remove the damaged or arthritic cartilage from the end of the thigh bone or the femur and the top of the shin bone or the tibia and resurfacing it with a knee prosthesis. Sometimes we also resurface the patella or the kneecap depending on how significant the kneecap is involved in the arthritic process. After the surgery, you'll be taken to the recovery room for a brief time, and then you'll be transported to your room. You'll have a large dressing on your knee, an IV in your arm, and possibly a drain in your knee that collects blood. On the day of surgery, you may even begin physical therapy and possibly even get out of bed and take a few steps. The next several days will focus on getting you mobile and stable for discharge from the hospital. You will have aggressive physical therapy twice a day. Your blood count will be checked daily. If your blood count gets very low, you may require a transfusion, but this is very rare. You will have several different pain medications to aid in pain control. However, there will be some discomfort that improves each day. You will also receive antibiotics to prevent infection. The majority of the medications that you are on at home will also be given to you while you're in the hospital. Also, you'll be on a regimen of medication to prevent the occurrence of blood clots. Blood clots, however, can still occur, and if they do, we will treat them appropriately. If you have medical issues that arise during your hospital stay, a medical doctor may assist us in managing those problems. You'll be discharged approximately three days after your surgery. If you are mobilizing well, you will be discharged home with home health physical therapy arranged several times a week. Sometimes we send our patients to an inpatient rehabilitation facility for more aggressive therapy. Some patients are able to start outpatient physical therapy right after discharge from the hospital. When your surgeon feels you are ready, he or she will prescribe outpatient physical therapy for up to six to eight weeks after your surgery. Your incision is usually healed within a few weeks after the day of surgery and then we can remove your staples. In general, you will receive six weeks of pain medication and may be on some medication for blood clot prevention for several weeks. Most patients are fully recovered by three months. You will be allowed to drive six weeks after surgery if it is your right leg, and maybe sooner if it is your left leg. Return to work depends on your job demands, but some patients can return as soon as three to four weeks for desk job work. There are potential risks associated with this procedure, and even though the appropriate steps are taken to prevent them, they can still occur. As with all surgical procedures, bleeding and infection are risks, but the incidence is quite low. If your knee becomes infected, we will be very aggressive treating it. It may require several subsequent surgeries to clear the infection. Blood clots can occur also, but you will be on a strict regimen of medication to prevent them. Sometimes your knee can become stiff and may require another procedure to help regain motion. This is why physical therapy is very important. With the recent advances in surgical technique, a total knee replacement has proven to be a very successful procedure. Recovery is quicker, pain is minimized, and function is returned more quickly. 
congratulations on making this decision to undergo a life-changing event that will decrease your pain and increase your mobility. The Total Joint Team at the Stebbin Hawkins Clinic of the Carolinas will do everything we can to make this a successful procedure. If there are any questions you have that are not covered in this video, please ask your surgeon.